Forensic experts from Colombia's Peace Tribunal are unearthing mass graves near the northwest town of the Beba. Army officers have testified that at least 50 people killed by soldiers and falsely presented as rebel fighters to boost statistics are buried here. Already 54 bodies have been recovered, but only four identified. The burials denied for more than two decades after one of the darkest chapters of the country's civil conflict. My uncle Eliezer de Jesus disappeared in 1997. Until today, 2020, that means that we looked for him for 23 years. Family members line up to give blood samples to help identify the dead through DNA matching. Manuel David and his daughter Adriana are still looking for three of Manuel's children. Perhaps we'll find one of the bodies, find out where they are. One thing is to know where they are buried, give them a funeral. Another is having no idea of what happened to them. Official estimates say that some 200,000 bodies still need to be discovered in Colombia. It's just one of many tasks that the Peace Tribunal is addressing as the country tries to face its past. The act that congregates us here in Dedebiba Central Park goes beyond returning these bodies to their family. It reiterates our unwavering commitment with truth and justice. Yet the tribunal created under the 2016 peace accord with FARC rebels has been at the center of political attacks. Some criticize the fact that former rebels who tell the truth and compensate victims can avoid prison terms. Others believe the tribunal is biased against the military and politicians allegedly involved in war crimes. Former President Álvaro Uribe has been leading the charge, recently calling for a referendum to abolish the court altogether. But some observers say what critics fear the most is the unveiling of evidence showing collusion between the military, paramilitary and powerful elites. Former President Uribe and those who are uh, his allies fear the truth that can emerge from the proceedings of the HEP, the Special Jurisdiction of Peace, and also from the Truth Commission. But for millions of victims of Colombia's long internal conflict, this is the first real opportunity to get a glimmer of justice and relief. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.